Hi, good evening. Um, I just want to commend all of the nominees for Garden River and um, I wish you all the best in your community for your upcoming elections and your leaders that you choose. Um, I think it's important to um, understand change and the value of it and the evolution of change and how it evolves into a circle and our people did that we we always believed in helping one another and um, being there as a community and and I still see that it's just I think it's different because we didn't start voting till 1969 and we kind of got caught in the bur bureaucratic trap of capitalist society social structures and the symmetrical lines that divide us and took away our circles. So again, um, these policies and legislations from INAC get enforced and it's created lateral violence in, in our communities, in our workplaces, in our homes and things that we do within our communities. And I remember my grandfather could never understand because um, he really wanted this sugar bush to t get off the ground and he didn't understand all the poly like the processes of paper handling and um, and he got very frustrated and you know to be able to um, understand the future it's almost like we have to go backwards and although we can't live 500 years ago um, to come say had something because he united his you know his six nations together and they do, they flourish. I mean, the land claims and the treaties and, you know, the, it's, we were caught into a system that doesn't belong to us. And I think in a holistic point of view, I think that it, it matters of, of the cultural perspective and our worldview of how Anishinaabe Ojibwe people lived in this area. And Chingwak had, um, you know, something to that. He was educated, but he also uh, lived the Medalian teachings. And um, uh, it was very um, crucial to his people. And he, that's what he wanted was the teaching wigwam. And the covenant was, his covenant was based on that. And it's now, um, 200 years later and that's finally you know starting after all of the aftermath of the residential schools and and the truth and reconciliation of what happened to First Nations people I think that um, we are in crucial times but it's almost like um, we're also in a very good time in, in a retrospect kind of way um, everything's going all around us with the environment and Mother Earth and Native people are starting to rise, become educated, um, become building partnerships and building alliances. And, um, but it's still, we have a long way to go. And, um, you know, it was presented to me today that, you know, there's, there's another person running in my community for chief. And, you know, I believe that in healthy leadership, um, that um, it's not just particularly one chief, 